Are you guys tired of wasting your money on packs? Then check out my sponsor, MMOEXP. They have by far the cheapest Madden 21 coins. And make sure you use code BANGZY for 5% off at checkout as well as use the link in the top of the description. Helps out the channel a lot and I appreciate you boys. Yo, what is poppin' up YouTube? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new and have not already, make sure you get the little subscribe button right down, right down there. I right, see that little red button. Hit that. I uh, also turn on those post notifications as well so you guys can be keep up to date when you can on the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a really important one. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's a really important one. Series uh, are changing to on Friday. So Friday is going to go from Series 2 to Series 3. And this is one of the best times I'm at in my opinion. I love when Series change because there's a lot of ways to make coins uh, prior to the Series and when the Series changes. So I'm going to go over what you guys can do prior to the Series to make sure you take the most advantage as possible. And go ahead and make yourself a lot of coins while well, saving yourself some coins. Because last series, I made the mistake. I bought my team at like right near the end of series one. Probably lost around 1.5 million coins uh, because I did that. So what I did, you guys can just see my team right here. It's uh, not looking too high overall, but you see my coins are a little bit higher than yesterday. I went ahead and sold pretty much my entire team. These guys are Nats. Tyreek Hill is a power up pass. Uh, Nat, Nat. All these guys are Nat. I don't think everyone's sold yet. Uh, power up pass, stuff like that. I would highly recommend selling your team. The reason I would highly recommend selling your team, even if you don't have a super high overall team, um, if the market crashes more than 10%, which is going to, it's never not crashed more than 10%, you're losing coins. Having those people on your team now when they're really expensive, and then you're gonna try to sell them when series three starts, you're gonna lose coins because pack odds go up. When pack odds go up, uh, it's pretty simple more pack odds go up higher cards are pulled the more they're pulled the lower the price goes so please sell off your teams it's very important next thing was i'm gonna do you see i have a lot of training i uh, knew uh flashbacks came out today i'm gonna go ahead and pull some the reason is i want to get rid of my training now because i can buy this training back later cheaper so keeping in my thing is not really doing much for me so we're trying to pull some uh, adrian amos's and levy on bell so obviously most of you guys probably are not gonna have this much training i did it from downgrading my team love that flashback animation marcus peters that is a fat l uh we're definitely looking for at least the 90 overalls um Adrian Amos and Le'Veon were like 170 each. Uh, Tom Brady's like 150. We get back back Marcus Peters. Yeesh. At least I think I think that's one of the better 89s. I think I'm not 100 sure, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the better 89s. See if we can get. Come on, Leah 90, please. Robert Woods. How much do these quicks out for? We might go ahead and re-roll these boys because these are. Uh, we really want at least 190. We want at least 190. Uh, let's see if we can get here. Please be a 90 and not another 89. 89 marks. So I'm going to go quick sell these because uh, that's just uh, unfortunate that we pulled four of those. I don't know why they made them 89 to 90 and then increased them by like more training than they should have. Because I don't even know if 90 is quick sell for that much training. Uh, we're going to quick sell these bad boys. Let's, let's see how much Marcus Peters goes for. Uh, let's see if I actually want to quick sell him. 80-ish K. Uh, yeah, might as well because the, the odds of uh, maybe pulling a one of the new 90s and stuff. So that's like what we got. Wow, we lost a decent amount of training right there. Obviously, most of you guys aren't gonna have this much training. I understand that, but yeah, you, I would probably try to get rid of it. Uh, I would say the best way to get your training after you sell your team, if you do have people powered up, probably is not flashbacks. It's probably doing the like fantasy packs, but that's so much. There's really been no good training store offers this year, which is kind of annoying because uh, I always like. Good training offers, but we really just haven't gotten it yet. Another Marks Mayor. We're just going to keep quick selling until we get a 90. Like, this is ridiculous. Okay. Can we at least get one of the 90s? Even like uh, CJ Mosley, who's absolute dog crap. It's probably one of the worst cards they've released. There we go. Alex Mack. How much do these quick stuff for? So you do gain training when you do get a 90. Uh, we're just going to take our 90s, though. Probably lost coins. Probably should have just hit those 89s. Unless we can pull a Le'Veon or a. Another Marcus Pierce. So yeah. Um. I'm just going to keep them. The, yeah, the now 89s come out of this pack way too often. I uh, think that you lose a ton of training when you pull an 89. Can we pull one of the new 90s, please? Another Alex Mack. All right, we're going to take that. We got like 3,000 training left. Uh, I don't know really what I'm going to do with that. I might just keep it and see what I can do with it. Next thing is you guys want to go ahead and spend your Series 2 trophies. Uh, the reason you want to spend them is they're going to get cut in half, and I don't think the rewards are going to go up that much. These are probably all going to be around the same uh, quick sell value. You might as well just go ahead and use your series two trophy so that's what you guys want to do sell your teams you want to use your training and you want to make sure that you spend your trophies all right next thing if you've not already make sure you re reach mutt level 60 it's going to make it a lot easier so you can reach mutt level 70 when it does come out because that gives you power passes it gives you coins it gives you packs it gives you uh, andre johnson level up tokens stuff like that 
Uh, I believe the best thing to rank up is still what I did is I went to Rivals 1, not Brainyard Brawl, Rivals 1 right here, went to the, I think the quarterfinals challengers, and I think it was this, uh, no, wait, let's see, it was this one right here, yeah, uh, no. Gain 50 plus yards uh, on Ertz and his boys. Uh, the reason you want to do this one is you get 50 plus yards, you get a little bit of extra training. Uh, it's uh, or not training, you get a little bit of extra XP. Play it on Rookie RK, lob it up to your person. Pretty, very simple. This is the, probably the best challenge to get XP. Probably going to be the same thing going into uh, Series 3, which I'll probably do a video more on leveling up later, probably when Series 3 actually does drop. But make sure you get to 60. Make sure you sell your team. Make sure you use your training. Make sure you spend your... Uh, trophies and probably spend your treats as well because i don't know what those are going to train or trade into um next thing is we're gonna go over some investments you guys can make and how you guys can possibly make some coins with that with the series redux coming out so we go ahead and look at the limited time cards that are going to be in redux this is really important because last series what happens when cards got redux limited times so their powers went up because their overall price went down so we go ahead and look at um the main ones that i know for sure let's just go over all the ones i know for sure uh, if we go look at our boy right here, Mr. Jamal Adams. He is definitely going, his power is definitely going to be going up. Uh, you see Adrian Amos sitting around beautiful 160, but uh, let's see, 90 overall. Jamal Adams is like 430k right now. He's probably going to drop to, I would say, 150, 175 with his Redux, maybe 200k. That's being generous at 200k. And if we go look at his power up, his power up is not expensive at all right now compared to what it used to be for when he first got his um when he first got his beautiful uh limited time card i cannot speak here we go jamal adams right here uh, you see he's only around 15k i can see he's probably going up to 30 40k when his uh redux does come out same thing with denzel ward uh denzel ward is another one that is definitely going to be 100 percent redux i'm surprised they actually didn't get redux last time uh obviously we don't know every card that is going to be getting redux we do know the majority of them though he Denzel works out from like 15k. I can see he's going up to around 30k as well because he's going for what 339 right now. I can see him dropping down to easily 150 to 200k. Uh, and let's just go look at the other just limited time ones. Darren Waller is another one for sure. Uh, we can look at him right now. I know he is definitely going to get Redux, and he is probably still the best tight end in the game. Probably not even close to all the rest of them. Uh, Darren Waller is a uh, absolute beast in this game right now. 6'6 with his speed. Uh, we go look at Darren Waller. His power up is a little bit more expensive than the ones you see right here. It's going for like 37, uh, and his limited time is going for like 480. I can see he's dropping again to like 250, 300. So I can see his power up probably going up from about 37 to, I would say probably about 50, 60k. Uh, obviously, this could this is a speculation. Some of them could not go up at all. So this is for you guys who want to be uh, a little bit risky because obviously it could definitely pay out. Uh, let's go look at the rest of the limited time cards. Hasn't been a ton this series. I don't know if Khalil Mack and DeAndre Hopkins are going to get uh, Redux. It wouldn't really make sense. Uh, they would because they just came out. And they're really not that expensive. So that's why I got to think. Matthew Stafford, don't really see his uh, his thing going up. Quan Short, same thing. Don't really see his going up. Aaron Rodgers, same thing. I don't see his uh, thing going up. Mari Cooper, maybe. Uh, Mari Cooper, he's good for if you have a Cowboys steam team. But besides that, he's not a super good car. He only has 89 speed. That's kind of slow now, so I don't really see his power up going up too, too much. It might go up a little bit. Uh, let's look at the rest of them. Um, Dalvin Cook, don't really see him going up. He's not a super good back. Darren Waller, like we already said, for sure. Avery Williams, probably not because no one really cares about Avery Williams. Micah Hyde, for sure. I would say Micah Hyde's probably another one that you definitely want to be investing in because Micah is going to get Redux, and he's probably one of the best free safeties in the game. Came with that 90 speed, 93 zone. Uh, he's very fast at the free safety position. He hit power. I know his hit power is bad. Doesn't really matter a ton. Uh, his speed and zone, though, with his mana 88. Very good card. Uh, he's going to get Redux. I'd probably invest in some Micah Hyde power ups as well. Um, Let's see, Ryan Ramshack. I don't really know. His power is probably not going to go up that much. It really doesn't matter. Marlon Humphrey is another one that's probably going to get Redux, and I could see you maybe wanting to invest in his power. He's coming up with 90 speed, which is fast. It's not extremely fast, but it is fast at six foot. Uh, he's not a top end corner, but he's definitely a solid one. Uh, so I would recommend probably investing in some of his power. His powers are very cheap. I'm sure like three, four ish K. They're not too, too expensive. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I know Saquon probably not going to get Redux. Devin McCourty probably not going to get Redux. I wish they would, but I don't see them getting Redux. Um, it would be really nice if they did, but I don't see it happening. Uh, let's go look at the Team of the Week ones as well. Uh, I don't really see any of the Team of the Week ones going up a 
ton. I was gonna have to filter in a uh, very annoying way right here. See if we can find the limiteds. Uh, 91 limiteds. Uh, let's see here. I know JJ Watt is one for sure. I, he might probably go up because I don't know how much his limited time card is. Uh, it's just annoying that you have to find limited time cards like this. Let's see, AJ Green. AJ Green, probably going to get Redux. I probably would not invest in his power up. He's not a super good, um, he's just not a super good wide out only coming with 89 speed. None of the really the shot or uh, the route running where you want it to be. 6'4 is nice, but we got Calico at 6'4 with 91 speed. We got uh, the new receiver for Scary Tall. He's like at 90 speed. So I don't really see AJ Green going up much. Uh, so I probably want to invest much in his power. He's not a very like sought after name. Uh, let's go look at the 92 limited time. Uh, Chris Harris Jr. Maybe I don't really see him. He's really a, not a very good limited time card. He's very not really he's not good of a corner. Only coming with 89 speed. Uh, his man and zones obviously very good, but if that speed is really what's holding him down. I'd probably not recommend investing in any of his power ups. Um, ben Roethlisberger not going to get redux. Stefan Diggs. This is an interesting one. If he does get redux, I don't know if his power up goes up a ton because if you look at him compared to what receivers are, 91 speed, pretty solid. But he does come up all base uh, route running, which is very very nice uh he's a solid card for sure six foot 91 speed um is he a top in top five i would probably say no but he's definitely top 10 so you could definitely invest in some stefan dig power ups and i want to see some jj watts i think he's a 91 i don't think we saw him uh i would recommend probably investing in some jj watt power ups because uh people really like jj watt uh and if he's getting redux and stuff that's obviously what a lot of people want to see. he's like around 340k right now i could definitely see him getting a little bit of a boost uh he's pretty solid with 87 blocks and 90 power with 86 a finesse move very solid card a lot of people like jj watt big name i could definitely see this going down and his power up going up as well i think that's everything i have for you guys today make sure you guys are hopping on this stuff make sure you're getting it done save yourself coins make yourself coins uh save yourself time trying to grind up to 70 um have other videos come out especially with series three like power pass um which player to pick for your nfl uh the 50 that's gonna be a video probably tomorrow uh maybe some pack opening definitely a lot of pack openings on friday when the series do change uh pretty much everything i got you guys hope it was helpful hope you guys enjoy it and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace